Good morning, all of you. This is Darkness, sir. Welcome you all once again in this online lecture series of our subject, artificial intelligence and the robotics. This is our lecture number eight, and yesterday we have discussed regarding the two searching techniques uh, in case of the uninformed search. that were the breath first search and the depth limited depth first search okay so one more is remain from the uninformed search technique that today we will cover and also we'll start with this informed search in the artificial intelligence so before we go to the last technique of uh, uninformed search let me ask you what is the difference between the dfs and the depth depth limited dfs yes all of you got the question yes in dfs uh, there is a number of steps uh, is given there or uh, limitations is there and uh, in dfs a uh, simple dfs there is no limit limitations in the sense what uh, means uh, We assign steps. Assign steps. Steps. Yes. Yes. Anybody else? Shubham. Hello. Ah yes. Uh, sir, in DFS we follow the deepest deepest path, and uh, in DFS, uh, real DFS, uh, we follow uh, we assign some limitations to the uh, to uh, traversing. Limitations on how much deep you can traverse. Correct. Ha. Uh -huh. Yes. So that is the only the difference between the DFS and the real DFS, where in case of the depth limited DFS. Uh, the ai agent can only search up to the certain depth only uh, according to the given according to the given limit of uh, particular depth okay yes okay now in the last one in case of uh, uh, uninformed search that we are having uh, id dfs which stands for the iterative deepening depth first search i hope all of you must be able to see okay what is our uh, fourth searching technique or the algorithm in case of the uninformed search iterative deepening depth first search okay which being also popularly considered as the id dfs okay now this is also the one kind of uninformed search technique where the another name for the uninformed search is the blind search which also work on some given initial limited present values or the information okay no uh, guidance being provided how to reach to the particular certain goal and that's why this also search this also this searching technique also perform the searching randomly just like the previous ones we have seen the dfs bfs and the dl uh, dfs but only here some uh, what you can say some modification is being done that is making it uh, slightly better than the a uh, previous searching technique okay as you can see i have mentioned here it is just act like the combination of the dfs and the bfs okay so if it is a combination of the dfs and the bfs definitely it is nothing but the combination of some of the advantages of the dfs okay and some of the advantages of the bfs DFS. okay so when you see the actual how it works then you will get idea why i have written this combination of the dfs and the bfs okay so the data structure it is utilized for the implementation is nothing but the stack according to the with the operations last in 
first out okay and as i mention here the it is a com uh, i'm getting the voice from jasmine okay already i warning you switch up your mic if somebody is talking in your home okay uh, as i said here it is a combination of the dfs and the bfs and that's why i have mentioned here it utilizes the deepest as well as the salivist node understood so first characteristic ha uh, yes sir side nahi dikh rahi hai sir so folder dikh raha hai sir स्लाइड नहीं दिख रहे नहीं सर आपकी स्क्रीन में सिर्फ दिख रहा है डेस्कटॉप दिख रहा है आपका फोल्डर दिख रहे सर सब आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस कब कब बता रहा हूं अभी मैं स्टार्ट किया हम्म ओके हम लोग शेयर नहीं थे कि हमारे साइड से प्रॉब्लम है आपके साइड लेट मी क्लियर Yes, now. Yes, sir. Now visible. Yes, sir. Visible. Yes, sir. Okay, you must tell it me instantly. Okay. Uh, as we have discussed, uh, now the our last in case of the uninformed search is nothing but iterative deepening, depth first search, understood, which is also under the category of uninformed search and the. blind search techniques okay this part already i mentioned you as i said it is work as how the combination of uh, dfs and the bfs means it is uh, adding the uh, some of the advantages from the dfs technique that we have discussed and some of the advantages from the bfs technique that we have discussed okay and uh, related with the data structure being utilized for the implementation is the stack with the operation last in first out kind of search operation we perform here and as i said is the combination of the dfs and the bfs it utilizes the dps node as well as it utilizes the salivist node also up till this understood yes sir okay let's see how actually it works suppose here you here you can see here we have given the uh, starting node that is what s correct and we have given that the ai agent should reach to the goal node that is here okay now how the iterative deepening depth first search works which is being popularly mentioned as the id dfs so how our dfs start or bfs start it always starts from the root node correct yes sir okay so this root node will be push on to the stack and when it is being pushed on to the stack now i have not mentioned here the algorithm because you got the idea about the algorithm so a will, uh, s will be push on to the stack then what will be happen next yes can anybody tell me next after a is being push on to the stack so a will be push in the stack Yeah, that is I am telling. What will be next? It What will happen? Yes. Now then, correct. S will be compare with the goal node. Our goal node is what? Our goal node is G. Correct. Yes, so still the AI agent has uh, not got the goal state or the goal node. Now after that, what will happen? That is the important thing here. Okay. Now initially, initially we are at the level zero. Correct. initially we are yeah. at the level 0 and what the id dfs says what the id dfs says level by level okay level by level the limit of the depth can be get increase what do you understand what i am saying what is the main characteristic of id dfs level by level depth of searching can be increase that is the one point what was the case in case of the dl dfs can ai agent uh, were able to increase the de uh, depth limit no no, no. 
he has to follow the whatever the depth limit is given but what the iddfa is is saying gradually means step by step the increase in the depth can be done until the ai agent will reach to the goal node understood so that's why here initially the depth limit is what zero all of you got the point initially yes. depth limit is what yes. zero zero means what here ai agent will according to this given depth limit ai agent can only search up to this point correct or not yes yes so he will push s yes on the stack so he will find no s yes is not the no, goal node that he want to reach so on next next iteration that particular this depth limit is increased by exactly one अश्विनी गोटेकर ऑन ईच इटरेशन वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट प्रोसिजर ऑन ईच इटरेशन डेप लिमिट इज इनक्रीज बाय हाउ मच एक्ट वन वन नॉट लेस देन वन नॉट मोर देन वन अंडरस्टूड सो इनिशियली आवर डेप लिमिट वॉज हॉट जीरो सो नेक्स्ट वील इनक्रीज इट बाय वन If the AI agent have got the goal node at this position only, will we need to increase the depth limit? No. 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 But AI agent not find here the goal node, so we increase the depth limit by one, and that's why our depth limit becomes now one, which is nothing yeah. but the up to this point. Correct? Yes. Yes. Sir. So our AI agent will come here. Okay, if you choose this direction. then again it will check whether a is our goal node no no, no. now where the ai agent will go next c c he will he has to compulsory go to c correct because shallow yeah. because the, uh, there is a depth limit is mentioned here one hmm. and that's why he has to follow this direction and that's why in the previous slide i have mentioned the id dfs is the combination of dfs plus bfs because it follow the dfs node as well as it follow the shallow node that point is that point is clear yes sir yes sir and that's why he check here whether c is his goal node no no so he will remove it from the stack also again now the our depth limit will get increased by how much exactly 1 so it will become 2 that is nothing but 2 up to this point yes sir yes so then accordingly ai agent will check itself with the d b e and lastly when it check it will g then it find that now he has reached to the goal no understood now consider the situation g is not the goal node but H H is the goal node. For example, what H? Then what has to be done next? The depth limit has also been get increased by how much? One. One. And that is the things I have mentioned here only. First iteration, uh, root node S. Second iteration, depth limit zero plus one. So first iteration traversing being done on node S. Second iteration traversing again. has to be start from s then to the a then to the c correct c. third iteration depth limit becomes 1 plus 1 and again these algorithm search from the starting node s to a then d b c e g understood yes sir now a yes, one point you must be observing here initially it already have traverse the s correct Yes. yes but still yes, again in the second iteration also it need to traverse the s yes sir also third iteration also it need to traverse the s yes sir and that yes, is the thing but the one drawback of the id dfs that it require the regressive traverse uh, regressive recursion what it requires to perform what regressive recursion regressive recursion recursion is being also called by the another name that is the iterative recursion yes or no yes iteration nothing but what performing some task again and again correct 
Yes, sir. Here, this algorithm performing which task again and again, it performing the task of traversing this S again and again, as well as this A, C again and again. Correct? Hmm. And that is the reason this algorithm is referred as what? Iterative deepening depth yes, first yes, search. So, and huh? I have a question, sir. Yes. So, if we have given the level S A, that is under D. If we have traversed the level A, then under shallow snow we get like C. Then in the path, we have C under B, then under a line. So here, yes. there must be the C. Level. Correct. S A C, yes, then D. D. Correct. D E and so G. This is a mistake, and this will be not here. So our path will be S A C. D D C then the e B and E and G. G. It yes, has sir. to follow the deepest plus shallows. Shallows, shallows. Understood. So in each iteration, there is a some kind of recursion is happening. If this is being visited first, again it has to be get visited. Correct. Yes, If this is being visited first, again it is being also getting visited here also. and that is the reason name given to this algorithm as iterative deepening depth first search understood all of you yes sir yes sir hello hello sir ha yes ha, yes. uh, sir back side gana back this slide ha ha sir asa pan asu shakta na ki uh, samja s s nantar to a la gela pan mag a che pahile node gel nantar to c la jail na ha pan limit kiti id लिमिट अपन वन दिले वन है ना मग ये चा खाली जाऊँ शक्त नहीं अपन जाऊँ शक्त नहीं अपन इसको खेलना वन प्लस वन प्लस वन टू खेलना थर्ड इटरेशन ला नो दैट इज ओके आफ्टर आप वी आर कंसीडरिंग ओनली अप टू दिस पॉइंट ओनली व्हेन यू व्हेन यू इंक्रीज द लिमिट व्हेन यू इंक्रीज द लिमिट Okay. Yes. P correctly, when you reach to this limit, we have to we have to follow the newly generated path here. Correct. What? Okay, sir. Shallowest node can be shifted, and this path, if we do this, that is shallowest node. How can it happen? It can happen only you restrict the depth limit only to this. But oh, when oh. you reach to the goal node, we have to consider the last depth limit. Correct. Yes, sir. Whatever the last depth limit we have uh, consider that. Yes. last depth limit you have to consider when you are having the lastly generated path this one yes and that's why it is being given s a d b c e g g okay that okay. way both the things are correct but if you just restrict your depth limit to the two then it the traversing path might be change understood yes sir yes sir so accordingly uh this is having some advantages disadvantage but definitely it is the better than the previous one correct yes sir whatever the previous searching we have discussed it is definitely better than the that previous searching technique correct yes sir and yes, sir. that's why in the advantages also mention the same point the combine the advantages of the dfs and the uh, bfs here and it is complete means it can give you the at least one solution you can get it from this using this searching technique it is optimal okay it can give you the best solution also and will not give go into the infinite, infinite loop that is also loop. one good uh, advantage of this this advantage that i have told you regressive recursion is required correct yes and as you need the regressive recursion that node has to be stored again and again and yes, that's sir. why the may, may require the more memory. more memory understood this all the searching technique that we are discussing being asked number of times for the four marks or the eight marks also okay so very important from very important part related with the uninformed search technique Okay, all of you understood the uninformed search techniques. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. in the these are the different kind of techniques being part of the uninformed search. 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 Where we have discussed the four techniques: the depth first search, then the base uh, breadth first search, then depth limited DFS, and lastly we have discussed here the 
iterative deepening depth first search okay let's move forward to the second category of search which is being under the states first search that is our inform searching in artificial intelligence Intelligent. okay here i have mentioned what it is search according to the information available the another name for this algorithm is the greedy search method and previously i forget to tell you uninformed search also being referred as brute force techniques what brute force means what can anybody tell me what do you mean by the brute force hmm brute force means what yes anybody brute force in in the sense forcefully the ai agent has to visit all the particular nodes correct yes yes sir that is why the brute means apan tela marathi madhe i am not getting his uh, meaning uh but the exactly the meaning that uh, relate to that is nothing but uh making somebody to perform some work forcefully understood that is the meaning of brute force okay okay now this as a previously one being uh, refer a uh, brute force this is being uh, referred by the popular name greedy search i will we will discuss the why it is being referred as the greedy search okay but you just keep in mind it is also being called by the another name greedy search so related with the uninformed search and the informed search there are the three different uh, terminology can be used like the uninformed search or the blind search or the brute force search methods correct similarly in case of the informed search as a informed search itself then the uh, another name that i and i am telling you here the heuristic search yes sir this search there uninformed search being referred by the blind search blind here search. the informed search being also referred by popularly as a heuristic searching techniques okay meaning of the word heuristic means providing some guidance keep these things in yes, mind okay why should i put that in it ah uh, yes whatever it may be but here we have to take the meaning as it giving us some kind of idea to us in the sense to the ai agent okay and third name bit is being the uh, greedy search method so we'll just uh, discuss some characteristic and then we move forward so it uses some knowledge to find the steps to the solution like the this example we have carried like somebody want to go from manmad to the yewla then if you don't know how to go he can ask to somebody yes sir if you want to go to the nanga or he can ask to somebody yes or no yes. yes but that was not the case in case of the uninformed search but this is the case in case of the informed search and that's why it is being referred it works with the help of some available information correct so definitely overall complexity in the form of the space or the time will definitely required less or more for the inform search technique less definitely will require the less and if less. it time complexity required less then definitely it will give you the quick solution as compared with the uninform search technique understood so it the particular ai agent always has the knowledge where its starting state goal state and how to reach to that goal state using which kind of information he can reach to the goal state so the inform search algorithm contains the various kind of knowledge like how far the ai agent is from the goal okay that is the one knowledge what is the path cost to reach to to reach that particular goal and how to reach to that goal node this kind of knowledge being always provided to the ai agent in case of the inform search techniques understood and this knowledge help the agent to explore less to search the particular search space and find the goal node efficiently so 
point here i want to make uh, clear is what the um, what you can say the searching required is less here as compared with the uninformed search correct or not yes yes, yes sir. sir and the informed search algorithm is the more useful as from such kind of different advantages we can say that okay and it as i mentioned this searching algorithm uses the idea of heuristic uses the idea of heuristic in the sense it ut it utilizes some kind of guidance and that's why it, this kind of uh, informed search techniques are popular being referred as the heuristic searching heuristic search. technique also technique. okay and uh, here i have mentioned some more, more details related with the heuristic like uh, here you can see the heuristic is nothing but the you can consider the heuristic as a function also or you can consider it as a some value also okay which always uh, provide the some kind of knowledge to the ai agent that we are discussing and from that knowledge the ai agent can get the most promising path in the sense what what do you mean by the most promising path uh, means the exact path it will get most promising the actual means? path actual path anybody else more yes Fixed most path. most promising in the sense better than the rest of the path correct okay. better than the rest of the path okay so ai agent take the current state uh, as a at on on current state on some input it produce some estimation it produce some value and from that value it can be determined uh, how he can reach to the goal node goal yeah. okay so heuristic value or the function act as a guide in inform search technique that is the point i want to clear here okay so various kind of estimation can be uh, done like estimation of how close the state is to the goal node or how how close the ai agent to the uh, goal node and this one thing you should keep in mind here the heuristic function or the heuristic value always being represented as h of n okay this will lead in the further examples keep in mind okay heuristic value or the function represented was as what h of n and it calculate the cost of an optimal path between the pair of states what does it mean what does it mean it calculate the cost of optimal path between the pair of state means what if this is the one one node and this is the another node clear at this node it calculate the value of h how to calculate that we will see at this node it calculate the value of h h is what Heuristic. heuristic and if value of h is here 1 and value of h is here 2 then the what what will be the optimal path definitely the value of h equal to 1 so as a value of uh, this this particular h is 1 okay and this is 2 which one is having the less value definitely this yeah so if the ai agent at this point whether the ai agent will choose this node for its for his next journey or it will choose this node for its next journey next value it will choose, choose it will choose yeah. less value understood and that is nothing but the calculation calculating the cost of optimal path between the pair of yeah. state this, this pair uh, if you consider this as a pair correct also the in the, the heuristic method uh, that is the one important property here it is being mentioned we might not get the might not in the sense we may get and we may not correct yes sir. that's why it is being mentioned we might not get the best solution but this whatever the searching technique are there in the rt uh, in the inform search they always gives you the good solution what they always gives you what good solution. good solution now what is the difference between this best solution and the good solution that we will discuss when you start with the actual searching technique but you just keep in mind here heuristic method always gives you the 
best solution uh, sorry it might not give you the best solution but always gives you the good solution good within good a, solution within a reasonable time time and one property that already we have discussed uh, as require the less time def that is the reason it is quickly to get to reach to the particular solution okay now whatever things we have mentioned there this example already we have discussed correct or not yes sir same thing i have discussed here like this is the initial node okay the eight puzzle problem that we have solved that actually there we have apply the heuristic search technique okay okay all of you must be remembering that uh, eight puzzle problem that we have solved actually there mm -hmm. we will use what heuristic function and the heuristic searching techniques correct yes sir less value ha after this the, this is the initial node and this is the goal state goal has to be reach after after the exploring this initial state you are getting three different state yes sir and there you can see here every time you are evaluating the value of h h yes sir yes. and here you, here you are finding the h is equal to 2 which is less than both of these neighbors correct yes sir and that's why you are choosing this node for the next journey and this is nothing but the most promising path or the most promising node out of these two correct yes sir okay so this is nothing but what exactly the heuristic function or the heuristic value means understood now there are the various kind of uh, methods are being utilized to calculate the heuristic value okay this question might be asked for the four marks different kind of method being utilized to calculate the heuristic value or to estimate the heuristic function so some of the important techniques we are discussing here one of that is nothing but the euclidean distance you might you might have heard about this okay one method is what euclidean euclidean distance, distance which is being also called as straight line distance, distance method some of the related things i have mentioned here it is the it is distance between the two points in the euclidean space which is this technique is being originally discovered by the greek mathematician euclid and that's why the name given to it as a euclidean distance okay in the history and the how actually the euclidean distance get calculated there is a one formula for that we don't have to calculate that because it these things will be uh, uh, will be given in the example okay we don't need to calculate all these things but but just for your understanding purpose i am telling you how these distances actually get calculated how these distances get calculated Sorry. using using this formula square root and within a square root the x axis and the y axis uh, representation being done and these values are being uh, with the help of this value the straight line distances are being get calculated understood so that is the one thing uh, utilizing the euclidean distances okay here i have also mentioned suppose this is our starting node or the starting state and the ai agent has to reach to the goal node so this state also represented by the x axis y axis and this is being also represented by the x axis y axis and using this value using this value these kind of values are put in this formula yes all of you are getting yes sir yes, and sir. then certain distances are calculated ata he distances aplyala calculate karaychi garaj nahi hai he distances already javes apan example uh, when we see the example or even in the examination you will get the example these distances will be given to you we don't have to calculate these distances i have just i am i'm just explain you for your uh, knowledge purpose ki how these distances get calculated so if the ai agent has to reach uh, from this particular location to this location so he can follow the multiple path he can follow like this correct he can go like yes. this or he can follow this or he can follow go like this he can go like this understood but out of these out of this all ashwini pawar switch up your mic out of these all which one is the which one is the good you are getting what i'm saying out of this all which one is the good path good. that is that idea of that thing is given with the help of what 
Euclidean distance. Distance. Understood? Yes, sir. Now let me clear you clear you uh, mm, uh, here one point that I told you the informed search technique uh, might give you the best solution, but it will definitely give you the good solution. There are the yes, less sir. less chances that it may give you the best solution, but hundred percent chances are what it definitely will give you the. Good solution. Now, what does it actually mean? Suppose AI agent is at this point. Yes. Yes, sir. And he has to reach at this point. So, st straight line distance will definitely give the guidance as what AI agent should follow this way, correct or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, but, okay. but if there is a certain kind of uh, things on this path. If there is a certain kind of things on this path, like upper man, toki to kai thori asa donger wogre asel, correct? Kai? Hmm. Asa mota donger wogre asel. Then will this path will be good as compared with no. this path? Zari to kai thori some hilly area will be there. The AI agent has to follow like this again, come this like this, correct? Yes, sir. yes. But what happened here might not be any kind of this kind of things. And here yes. you might reach to the goal node in yes. less time as compared with this. Correct. That is the reason I am saying used, uh, the informed search technique may not give you the best solution. If there's some kind of hilly area is there, then out of this one and this one, which one is the best path? This one? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. But but Euclidean distance suggested you what this path, correct? Yes, sir. And that is the reason yes, this this solution, this solution become good, correct? Correct? Yes. And yes, sir. these become best. best. Do you understand the difference between the good and best? Yes. Sir. Yes. So that's why the, it is being mentioned in the um, very uh, uh, important property of uh, informed search technique. It says it may not give you the best solution, but it will definitely give you the good solution. I hope good all of solution. you understood. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, so this sir. is the first method to evaluate the or to estimate the uh, heuristic value. Okay. Let's move towards the next. The next uh, we have value that is nothing but the Euclidean distance. Second that can be utilized is the Manhattan. You must have heard about these also. Okay, Manhattan distance method. And if you if you uh, try to apply this method to the eight puzzle problem that already we have solved. Now, what exactly this Manhattan distance is? This Manhattan distance is nothing but number of moves need to be made by the AI agent so that it can reach to the goal state. What does it mean? Yes. So, upon he eight puzzle problem with the Hikilele follow. Ha, that is the thing but called as what? The Manhattan distance. Kaplila gold state lazanis at Kitty Moment Kitty right Karalag, Kitty Lake Karalag. Yes, Kitty up and Kitty down. How we are doing that by comparing this with the initial state. Initially, we are comparing it with the goal state with the initial state, correct? And when you are exploring this initial state, same thing we have done like this. Okay. When you are exploring this state, again, you are comparing this state with our goal state, this state with yes. our goal state, this state with your goal state. And out of these three, whichever is the minimum that you are choosing to go for the next path. Correct? Yes, sir. So that kind of distances are being referred as a Manhattan distances. Understood. That is the one method that can be utilized to estimate the heuristic value. That same method is being also uh, being referred by the another name that is number of misplaced styles that last time we have discussed. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes. So Manhattan distance or the number of misplaced styles that is nothing but our second method that is being utilized to estimate heuristic value, which you have already discussed in this example. Correct or not? Yes. So these are the two methods 
uh, being utilized uh, in case of informed search technique to evaluate the heuristic value and using this heuristic value our ai agent is doing what our ai agent is trying to reach to the goal node yes or no yes sir like in this example like in this example ai agent has utilized the heuristic value that is being with the help of the which method manhattan or the number of displays tiles method here these things already last time we have discussed if initial state get explore into the this three state okay then ai agent will compare this state with our goal state from that goal he state. will get the value of what h correct similarly ai agent will compare this state with the goal state then he will get the value of h nothing but a heuristic value 2 and also we will compare this state with this goal state and he will get the heuristic value as a 4 so here is the 4 here is the 2 here is the 4 then which one is the better definitely this one is the better and that's why our ai agent will choose this node only to go onwards now let me ask you the question instead of applying the inform search technique or the heuristic searching technique here if you apply or uh, any of the uninformed search technique i am saying what any of the uninformed search technique what has to be done at this step you got sir, the question ha dfs, huh? DFS jar use kela to to directly khali jail manje ya state ni jail to manje node means what this 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 node also huh. need to be search correct पॉवर और एडवांटेज ऑफ इनफॉर्म सर्च टेक्निक वर्सेस अन इनफॉर्म सर्च टेक्निक आई होप यू मस्ट हव गॉट द क्लियर कट आइडिया दैट इज दॉट एक्सैक्टली आई मीन बाय द ह्यूरिस्टिक and the blind yes or no yes sir yes so here i want to conclude so tomorrow we will discuss the some of the techniques or the under uh, under the inform searching methods okay okay sir okay, okay sir okay thank you all of you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.